Okay, today is September the 1st, 2016, and we're looking at the Hawaii water vapor loop. And we see the remnants of Hurricane Madeline right here, which has moved to the south of the Big Island. Uh, this storm is still being targeted. We can see a lot of uh, violent activity around the periphery of that storm. Water vapor shooting out, uh, blast patterns. Let's take a look at some of these other maps. We have the uh, infrared loop. We can see the deep red. And uh, which then diminishes to a yellow color after the storm is hit with microwave. And then it rebuilds and then they hit the other side of the storm. So they're doing the same thing. Let's take a look at the, uh, the visible light map. We can see the uh, photoshopping, of course. And then we have the night to day transition. And we can see some really good detail. I'm going to go ahead and stop this the loop and we'll take a look at the... Uh, these dimple marks. This is where the uh, microwave is hitting this storm, right at this exact point. Uh, these are half hour uh, segments. Each segment in this loop is one half hour. So we can see right here that the storm was targeted three times right in this area and a couple of times right here. And we have a uh, an area here, a little crater. And then we have some other activity right over here. And then we have a blast pattern right there. So let's go ahead and Run this again. All right. Okay, so they ran that storm <clears throat> down to the south side of, of the islands. Uh, I'd originally thought they were going to run it uh, to the north side, but uh, we have a lot of, we've got a, something right here trying to spin counterclockwise. We've got this system up here and down here uh, seems to be a safer place at, for the time being we can see that a clearing is being made for this storm as it is pushed along and we have uh, Lester this is a uh, this was a category four yesterday it's been uh, wound down to around uh, 105 mile per hour winds I think I believe is what it is let's see right here we have uh, Lester, 105 mile per hour winds right here. Okay, uh, moving west at 14 miles per hour. <clears throat> now, Madeline is, uh, has 50 mile per hour winds, so they're continuing to break that storm down. And uh, they'll probably do the same, same thing with uh, this storm because of all the activity going on up here. Just have to wait and see. We also have this big thunderstorm. This is, this is a quite a large area of thunderstorms. This is this could be a disturbance, uh, and they're not going to run this into that. So it chose to move it to the south, and that's being done by this high pressure right right here. We can see the outline that is forcing this down to the uh, southwest. Here's the IR loop. You can see a right angle up here on this low pressure system right here. In fact, let's go take a look at that right now. Actually fit an envelope on there pretty well in that contour. Let's see how well that fits. Minus the radius right here, we have a, a very straight uh very two two very straight edges. You can see that. This is a man-made feature, and eventually, uh, over time, what they're trying to do by creating these right angles with these transmitters is that they separate the frontal system from the low pressure center. Otherwise, this would drop down <clears throat> minus the high pressure they've installed here and bring some rain to California. So this is the downside to the weather manipulation. We have these same people that are preventing rain from getting into California, where a lot of the food is grown for the uh, country. And we can see the size of that system here in the uh, water vapor loop. I believe this is about a 1,008 millibar uh, system, low pressure. Take a look here at the uh, surface analysis map. See that system right here, 1,008 millibar, big trough indicated. 
and this is uh, got an arrow pointing to the uh, sort of the east southeast. We have high pressure, of course, right here, and we have this a large 990 millibar system just off of the uh, Aleutian Islands. Let me go take a look at that again up here on the uh, big map. The system has a transmitter on it. We can see the uh, disruption, the uh, dark area right in here. And uh, there is a right angle in the very beginning of this sequence right there. So this is being manipulated as well. And also, uh, we've got something right here trying to spin counterclockwise. There's a transmitter on that. We can see that detail as well. Now here's the uh, water temperature for the uh, East Pacific. This is the 20 degree latitude right along, right along uh, here, 20 degrees north. This is goes right through the Big Island of Hawaii. We see that the water temperature all through this area where those hurricanes trekked right along this line is 27 degrees C, which equates to about 80.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, we had a category, we had, uh, well, Lester was a category four for about three days moving along here. And then we had Madeline, which was a category three with a solid 120 mile per hour winds. And right here, you see that the water temperature actually rises, this little orange area between the Big Island and the rest of this uh, 27 degree uh, water temperature. So uh, obviously there's some manipulation going on. There's plenty of warm water right here for, for those hurricanes to, to feed on. Okay, here's the pressure maps. We have uh, the, uh, well, let's start with the 300 millibar, or the uh, sea level rather. We have the high pressure shown here, and low pressure right over uh, Eastern uh, California, right there. And we have the 500, rather this is the 300. I don't know how this got out of order, but anyhow, this is the upper level map and we see low pressure off of uh, Hawaii right here. And we have these two upper level lows here, which are gonna be blocked. We've got some squiggly lines right over California, indicating some transmitter activity in this area. And we've got high pressure parked over uh, Mexico. Let's go back to that big map again and see what's going on over Mexico. We've got a lot of clockwise activity right here to disrupt uh, these uh, thunderstorms. It's going to wind a lot of the weather out to the east. We've got a transmitter right here clearing a, a path. And there was a lot of a strange weather and hail in Colorado yesterday, right here. A lot of hail and, and crazy weather. No doubt that was from. <clears throat> uh, this area of high pressure they're forcing into uh, this area of low pressure, which is uh, spinning counterclockwise. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much the report. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it right, right here with the right angle. Another good example of why our weather is crazy and why we have a drought right here. Here's the right angle. <clears throat> that's about as good as it gets. Okay, so that's it. We'll go ahead and uh, probably do an update tonight since there's a lot going on. Okay, that's it.